A busy morning in Fall River after flames tear through this mill building right here, damaging a business inside. Mutual aid was called in from several nearby communities. The fire also left a Seekonk firefighter with an ankle injury. Iowa Sioux reporter Alexandra Leslie is live in Fall River with a closer look at the scene tonight. Well, tonight the building is being boarded up to keep it secure. At this hour, it's unclear how much merchandise inside is ruined, but we do know there was extensive damage on the top two floors, plus water damage throughout. Mutual aid from at least seven communities needed in Fall River overnight. Around midnight, crews responded to the Stafford Mill building on County Street, quickly deemed a general alarm. We call everybody in. Minutes later, a call for a house fire a half mile away on Tremont Street came in. You can see that our resources were stretched to the limit. Chief John Lynch tells me this was deemed electrical and no injuries were reported. Back at the mill building, crews were working on knocking down flames on the fourth and fifth floors, where we're told most of the damage is. They were able to knock it down and basically kind of contain it. At one point, we're told a Seekonk firefighter injured his ankle and was transported to the hospital for treatment. Also, as the morning went on, part of the roof collapsed. The fire's kind of been buried in there and some of the debris that's fallen. That debris included high-end clothing and cardboard boxes. The chief says it was strong mutual aid and a good water supply that saved the situation from becoming much worse. There was a lot of stuff in there that could catch fire and spread, but the guys did an amazing job, I'm not just saying this, of getting in there and knocking it down. And the good news tonight, the mayor told me the city's economic development program assisted that business that was affected. He adds the business found a spot to relocate their stock and that no employees will be displaced. Live in Fall River, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. But first, new details on the long night firefighters had in Fall River. This was the scene that started at Stamford Mill, which firefighters managed to keep from spreading. But at roughly the same time, they also had a house fire on Tremont Street. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you the scenes were about a half mile away. Alexandra Leslie joins us on County Street with what we know about potential causes of both. Alexandra? Good evening. Well, Fire Chief John Lynch tells me that that house fire on Tremont Street was deemed electrical in nature and no injuries were reported. But here on County Street, it's a different story. Investigators will still have to look through rubble and camera footage to figure out what caused this mill to catch fire. Fire shooting out the top floors of the Stafford Mill building in Fall River. Due to the size of the building, the fire was upgraded to a general alarm, meaning all available crews were called. If the second mill would have got going, it would have been a challenge. Fortunately, firefighters were able to keep the fire contained. Fall River Fire Chief John Lynch credits strong mutual aid from at least seven communities in doing so, but he says the size and structure of the building posed a challenge. Because it's so expansive, it takes a lot of men and apparatus to put out a fire this size. We're told the businesses affected holds high-end garments and accessories. There's a lot of stuff in there that could catch fire and spread, but the guys did an amazing job, I'm not just saying this, of getting in there and knocking it down. They did not a good job, they did a great job. The fire shut down part of the neighborhood overnight, also causing a furniture shop on the left side of the building to close for the day. A city building commissioner tells me they were also monitoring for potential water damage there due to crews pumping in lots of water to contain the flames. Chief Lynch also told us that there is always a plan in place for these kinds of buildings should it ever catch fire. This is done following a yearly building inspection. Live in Fall River tonight, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.